Wait, does it actually work though? Not yet. Like, so we can... are going to fix up the pink Razor scooter. Get it working. We just got this super cheap, non-working. I've been working on this guy for three months to get him to sell it to me at the price I wanted to pay. And he wasn't willing until he was. It is a 24 volt scooter, I think it is. On the instructions it says 13 and up. There's no way a 13 year old would fit on this thing. Tires hold air. We're gonna fix the rust on this front wheel here. Look how rusty that is. I think we're gonna paint it. What color should we paint the front wheel? Wait, we're gonna paint a wheel? Just the wheel, yeah. Um, white, I guess. Paint it white, okay. Okay, first thing we're gonna do is figure out what's wrong with these batteries. Uh, last I checked, turn it on and this would glow, but the back wheel wouldn't turn. No, if I kick it, it'll turn. I wanted to see sometimes you gotta get them moving before they'll turn. I think this thing is totally dead. So, there's the batteries come take a look inside take a look inside there do you see it yes any spiders no no spiders but okay there's two lead acid batteries in there and oh they're just that part is just holding them down. There's a fuse. Let's go check the fuse. You still got this in the frame here? Yeah. We got the fuse out and the fuse looks fine. Put that back in. I could see because there's a little like line in here. You probably can't see on the video, but that looks good. I'll test it with a meter, but it doesn't look blown to me. Let's try to get these batteries out of here. Okay, you can see there's a strap that just holds down the batteries and then a plug here. Bless you, camera lady. What we want to see now is, does the scooter work? If I put in a fresh battery, even temporarily here, is this thing going to work? So we know before we go try to test fit it and see if it really runs and all that, is it at least possible to get this thing running again? These lead acid batteries, they die all the time. They're heavy, they don't last very long. They're yucky, they have lead in them. These uh, lithium batteries are far, far better. Very dangerous, kids. Again, let me try this in here. So I used a battery welder to attach these 18650 cells all together into this pack. And you can see there's a similar pattern on the underside. This professional welding setup it was pretty easy to do. The battery holders themselves, I'll put a link to it in here, but these are parametric 3D printed battery holders. So basically you tell it how long and how wide you want it to be, and it'll come up with the 3D model, which you can print on your printer to hold these cells perfectly like this. And this nickel strip I used and welded in there fits perfectly in the groove. It was very easy to put this together after you had all this stuff. There will be a BMS on here at some point, but for now, just to get this thing running, I will uh, skip that. Since I can't find where I put all my BMSs, I had a pile of them around here. I'm going to take the positive lead of my harness that I took off of the scooter and weld it onto the positive side and uh, negative I'm gonna not weld but solder it onto the negative side. Alright so I've soldered the connector onto the battery. I've wrapped the battery in this capped on tape which is electrical proof, heat proof, all that stuff. It is not really sufficient padding and all that to 
make this thing safe, but uh, at least for now it'll stop things from shorting out. Here we got the battery pack dropped in there. It's about half the size of the initial battery. The connector's on there. It's all good. Need a way to strap it down. It'll be all fine. And then our test pilot will be ready to do some damage. So we got the battery strapped down with some bungee cords. Temporary. Power switch is on. It should be bright. Batteries in there all good. Okay, go give it a give it a twist, Victor. It looks good. It's gonna need some adjustment, but let's try it out. Switch is off for safety. Hands off the throttle, right? Uh-huh. You know where the brakes are, right? Yep. Okay, give it a good zit. No crashing into things, remember? How is it? Is it too fast? It's all right. Try it again. Go up the hill, actually. Go up the hill. But when it hits, it actually is like... It makes a oh, click. Yeah, we got to adjust the chain, but... Go ahead, give it a shot. Go up the hill. Come on, give it gas. Gas. <laughs> awesome. Okay, go go around the cul-de-sac. Awesome. 